Well, this morning we wanted to bring you one last Halloween treat much sweeter than candy. Yeah, these two dads went all out for their kids this Halloween. George News' Dane Hawkins has more on the inclusive costumes that you won't believe are handmade. You ready to do some trick-or-treating tonight? In his costume equipped with a flag, lights, and Hot Wheels, four-year-old Reed definitely is. They get a chance to be something other than a kid in a wheelchair on Halloween. But for this inseparable pair... No, I wouldn't have it any other way because he's my best friend. It's about a little more than that. It's all about inclusion. We want to be included in everything. Some functions aren't necessarily geared toward handicapped kids. Which is why dad, Brian Kilstrom, started building Reed's costumes two years ago. Anything that's going to make life fun for him, I want to do it. And this year, Reed has a partner, a six-year-old Harlot, and his dad, Frankie Johnson. I was really happy and honored that he asked me to be a part of this. It's our responsibility as parents to give them every opportunity available, I mean, whether they're special needs or not. And dressed as Toe Mater, Frankie says his son is already having more fun this Halloween. We've always had fun. I, I love to see us smile, but it to me, it just seems like it's a little bit bigger this year. Because for these fathers, moments like these are sweeter than any Halloween candy. To see him happy and the smile, oh, it, it just it, it just warms my heart, really. I mean, because I, I would do anything for my child just like Brian would do anything for his. There's no number on a father's love. It's unlimited. Dane Hawkins, two works for you. I love that story. That's my favorite story of the week. It is. It's so good. You can just tell how much those dads love their sons. I mean, those even lit up. I know. They had, I mean, they were, like, legit, like, they, they don't look you, homemade. You, you, you can't really call it a costume. It's, it's more like a, it's a set piece. Like, right. it's a whole it's production so cool. in and of itself. And apparently uh, it took like 40 hours to make each of those costumes. Yeah. So 80 hours total. <laughs> and then um, they've won all the costume contests that they've entered. As they should. As they should. <laughs> Such a great story. Well, Halloween may be.